He is known for being a pioneering scientist in the study of cellular respiration, a process that extracts energy from food and oxygen in living cells. He is recognized for his discoveries of the citric acid cycle and the urea cycle, which are crucial metabolic reactions in organisms. His name is Hans Krebs. In the world of scientific exploration, one name stands out, Sir Hans Adolf Krebs. Born in Germany and later becoming a British citizen, Krebs was a true pioneer in the field of biology, medicine, and biochemistry. His groundbreaking research focused on the study of cellular respiration, a vital process that extracts energy from food and oxygen to fuel the processes of life. Krebs is best known for his incredible discoveries of two significant sequences of chemical reactions that occur in the cells of almost all organisms, including humans. The first is the citric acid cycle, often referred to as the Krebs cycle, in his honor. This metabolic pathway allows oxygen-respiring cells to generate a tremendous amount of ATP, the energy currency of cells, from the food they consume. The discovery of the citric acid cycle revolutionized our understanding of how organisms obtain energy and earned Krebs the prestigious Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1953. But Krebs' contributions didn't stop there. Together with Hans Kornberg, he also uncovered the glyoxylate cycle, a variation of the citric acid cycle found in plants, bacteria, protists, and fungi. This finding expanded our knowledge of cellular respiration and shed light on the intricate biochemical processes that occur in various organisms. Throughout his career, Krebs dedicated himself to advancing scientific knowledge and understanding. He spent 13 years at the University of Oxford, where he made significant contributions to the field before retiring in 1967. His work continues to inspire and shape the scientific community, leaving a lasting impact on our understanding of cellular respiration and its profound significance in the field of science. Born in Hildesheim, Germany, Hans Krebs grew up in a family of medical professionals. His father, George Krebs, was an ear, nose, and throat surgeon, and his mother, Alma Krebs, supported the family as a homemaker. Hans was the middle child, with an older sister named Elizabeth and a younger brother named Wolfgang. As a young student, Krebs attended the prestigious gymnasium Andrinum in his hometown. However, his education was interrupted when he was conscripted into the Imperial German Army during World War I. With only six months left to complete his secondary school education, Krebs was allowed to take an emergency examination for his high school diploma, which he passed with flying colors. After the war, Krebs decided to follow in his father's footsteps and pursue a career in medicine. He enrolled at the University of Göttingen in 1918 but transferred to the University of Freiburg the following year. It was during this time that he developed an interest in scientific research, publishing his first scientific paper on tissue staining techniques under the guidance of Wilhelm von Mollendorf. In 1923, Krebs completed his medical course and went on to obtain his Doctor of Medicine degree in medical license. However, he realized that his true passion lay in the field of medical research, particularly in biochemistry. He spent a year at the Third Medical Clinic in the University of Berlin to further his knowledge in chemistry and biochemistry. In 1925, he earned his MD degree from the University of Hamburg. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.